I don't know if you need to know that term, but it's the ciliary muscles. And they contract. They can either tighten or loosen. Yeah. Um, what do you think would it take to make this rounder, tight or loose? Tight. Yeah, uh, it's kind of kind of intuitive that if you're really relaxed, you lose the roundness and you get kind of flat. Basically, um, it's uh, it takes tightness to. to Bend it. So you really need to bend the lens, basically. If you ever, uh, I don't know if you had like a, I never used contact lenses, but can you kind of like push on the yeah. lens? Right. So if you push on the lens, it gets rounder, mm -hmm. right? Well, that's the same thing that the ciliary muscles are doing. They're pushing on the lens to make it rounder. Okay. So um, when they're very relaxed, it's very flat. Okay. So uh, if we have a very close object, do we need the muscles to be tight or loose? tight ciliary muscles in the eye. That will give us the roundness here. So this picture here is actually unrealistic because the shape of the lens that would work for the close object would be different from the shape of the lens that would work for the far object. I should actually draw two different shapes for these two different objects. The eye is always changing. And what does it mean if someone is nearsighted or farsighted? It means that they've lost the flexibility of their muscles or flexibility in their lens to make the required changes. Uh, and that's why they're not able to get the thing to, to focus anymore. Okay. All right, here's a new problem. Oh, and I should have given you some more information. So let's say that the diameter of the eye is 2.5 centimeters. Started with this, but uh, if you guys thought we'd go through it together, it's a little hard, but uh, let's see if we can get our first steps. All right, so again, we have a person with normal vision. A person with normal vision, and their eye has a diameter of 2.5 centimeters. The question is, what is the focal length of their eye? Uh, I'm sorry, what's the focal length of the lens of the eye? What's the focal length of the lens of the eye? when the ciliary muscles are at maximum tension. So let's see if we can get our first steps here. Anything that would be helpful? Yeah. So, so this is my Should I use a table? Yeah, we can, and that would be a good idea. Should we go through this together? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I always found, like, I, I always found these eye problems really hard. I don't, uh, I think this semester I finally got them down. In the past, it's hard. But they keep putting them on the test, yeah. so we need to know about it. Okay, so uh, let's see if, let's see if we do understand this. Okay, so we have uh, maximum tension. Why would the muscles be at maximum tension? Is that because the object is close or far? Yeah, we just went through yeah. those ideas before. We saw it went, because uh, this means that they, the eye is very round, very converging. Why does it have to converge the light rays so much? Because they didn't converge much outside of the eye. They didn't converge much outside of the eye, so it has to really lickety split converge them before they get to the retina. Um, so we know that the object is very close to the eye. In fact, if we're at the maximum tension, then the object should be at the minimum distance from the eye. The object is at the minimum distance from the eye. The object is at the minimum distance from the eye. The minimum distance it can be at, and you can still focus on it. Obviously, you can put the object as close as you like, but you can't focus on it anymore. What would happen if we put the object even closer to the eye? The, the muscles are not strong enough to bend the lens enough to converge light rays at that point. So the object is as close to the eye as it can be. Well, how close is that? Is it 25 centimeters? 
Yeah, this is where it comes in that this is normal vision. So we learned in our last session that normal vision has what's called a near point of 25 centimeters. Yeah, I think that is the right number. Okay. So the normal near point is 25 centimeters. The normal near point is 25 centimeters. That means that our object distance here is 25 centimeters. Draw the 25 centimeters in the picture. So indicate with your fingers, what's the distance that's 25 centimeters from where to where? From here to here. Okay. We know object distances are always positive, so we don't need to worry about that. When we say 25 centimeters, do we mean 25 centimeters from the lens or 25 centimeters from the retina? Yeah, object distance is always the distance between the object and the lens. Object distance is always the distance between the object and the lens. So it is this distance that is 25 centimeters. Last time we met, we saw that uh, a person with normal vision, the closest they can see an object is when the object is at 25 centimeters. Mm -hmm. And now we know that that has to occur when the eyes are at maximum tension. Mm -hmm. So we're putting it at 25 centimeters. So it's not from here to here, it's 25 centimeters. Um, now where do we put that 2.5 centimeters in? I think you already tried that in your picture. Yeah, that's good. This is the diameter of the eye. I, I drew it like a rectangle again, but the diameter would really be Oh, well, so this is definitely not the scale, is it? <laughs> All right, so this should be much smaller than this. But obviously, you might not want to draw these pictures to scale because then there wouldn't be any space in the eye. Okay, because uh, of course you know that the inside of your eye is much smaller than the distance in the outside atmosphere. Okay, all right, so last time when we met, we, I think we ended on the eyes, right? Yeah. And I said, the one thing we didn't talk about is problems where you need to talk about the size of the internal eye. So now we're getting into that, where there's actually giving you the distances inside the eye. Um, the object distance is not exactly the distance to the retina, it's the distance to the lens. Okay, so it's important to, to draw a clear picture here. 25 centimeters, 2.5 centimeters. Okay, so we're working this through step by step. So, does that mean that the image distance would be 2.5 centimeters? If it's yeah, like that's right. Yeah, what does this number represent? It's the image distance, because here's where we want the image to be, right? We want the image to be here, uh, and the image distance is supposed to be how far the image is from the lens. That's good. That was what I should have said next. So if S is 25 centimeters, then S prime is 2.5 centimeters. That's the way to go. Okay. And then we can use the lens mirror vision to kind of help with that? I think we can. Okay. Um, the good news is that you're trying to figure out the sign here. Most people just assume this is positive, but we've got to think about the sign for focal length and image distance. So we've got to put in the sign here. So take a, take a second to remember, what's the rule that determines the sign on the image distance? What does the sign of the image it distance? Is virtual or real? Yeah, real or virtual. I think you were uh, confusing that with upright or inverted. Okay, this depends on whether it's real or virtual. So we have to decide whether the eye is going to make a real or a virtual image. You can kind of tell that just from the picture you drew. Did you draw a real or a virtual image? Yeah. Technically, why is that? Um, because it's um, oh, the outgoing rays are on the opposite side of the image. 
So you drew it like this. We know we want these to converge on the retina. Um, so we saw last time that a real image is on the same side as the outgoing light. A real image is on the same side. The technical definition is that a real image is on the same side as the outgoing light, and a virtual image is on the opposite side to the outgoing light. So let's take that step by step. 